Hello viewers, welcome to your number one family intelligence show, The Professor Unlimited. My name is Governor and um, I'm privileged to have here with us as always, the Professor himself, yeah. spirit, soul and body. That's sir, right. you're welcome sir. Thank you, you are kafios. Thank you, thank you I'm very kafios. much sir. <laughs> <laughs> thank you sir. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir, so we are going straight to what we have for today. Okay. Um, sorry, there is no petrol in the country. Oh yes, that's why we have to dab. Okay. There is no light in the country. Dab, yeah. <laughs> dab and dab. Yeah, yeah, sorry, thank you. Yeah. Um, yes. Uh, so sir, we are going straight to words and meaning. Oh, okay. Yes, we've had a lot of words that have given our ancestors problem for over a very long period of time and wish that today you will lay these problems to rest. And that's what I do normally. I thank lay you. them to rest. Thank, thank you very much, sir. I'm sorry, yeah. I have to keep cleaning. You have to. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, So sir, uh, please, what is the correct meaning, mm. as in words and meaning, of gynecologist? Oh, <laughs> that's a smart thing. Yes. You know, I'm a professor. Yes, sir. You know, say gynecology is like somebody like that likes to gist very well, he likes to talk very well, and he likes to, when he's gisting, he's blowing guy. He's, blowing, he's walking as if he has boy in his armpit. He's blowing guy, he's gisting like, now, nah, if you are talking, if you are gisting with me now, you are doing like this, you are a gynecologist because you, 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 your, your gisting is, is too arrogant. Are you with me? So, a gynecologist. You blow guy and you are just a, he's a guyist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All that words we just play with normally when we are small. <laughs> Next question, please. Gynecologist, Yes, that's it. Blow guy and okay. gist. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes, this, this particular word came from a young man in Oka. Okay. In Oka. Um, he's, he's, he wants to know what is the meaning of um, schizophrenia. <laughs> that's a small thing. Schizophrenia. It's somebody that has skills normally yes. and is very friendly. You understand? Okay. Because there are some people that have skills but they are not friendly. It's a, it's a situational problem. But if you have skills and you are friendly, people like, like the Ronaldo, people like Okosha, okay. he has skills and is friendly. Like Carlo Wanko is friendly and he has skills. You know, people like Alibaba, he has skills and is friendly. RMD, they have skills, they are very friendly people. You understand me? Yeah. So those are skills so Friend, uh, what, what do you call it again? Friend, yeah. That's it. They, they, they are believed to friend people with your skis. Friend, yeah. are, you, are you with me? So that's it. That's why we, me, me, I don't have uh, I have, I have skis, but I'm not that friendly with people. So that's why I can't pump myself in that category. But Alibaba, schizophrenia. They are already schizophrenia. Basketball, worst schizophrenia. Are you understand me? So they have all of them like that. You understand? What about OBJ? OBJ, ah, he just. He's just friend there, forget about these kids. Chilibu? Friend there. <laughs> My brother, don't involve me. And those words are not part of this discussion. Okay. You know, he's a national television. Uh, just know that the people have their skills and they are friendly. They are schizophrenia. Next question, please. Okay, sir. Thank you. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia. Sorry, sir. There's no. Hey, you got that, that, that. It's, it's, it's the situation of the economy. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the next word, um, this came from a, a young man in, in Medugri. Mm -hmm. He wants to know the meaning of being abreast. Being <laughs> abreast. Uh -huh, that's a simple thing. Yes. Being abreast. Yes, sir. You understand me? You have to do your hand like You don't just say that you have to do your hand like this. Being abreast. abreast. Yes, it's a, it's a cosy like uh, cosy like situation. What is cosy-like? Cosy-like is a cosy-filious uh, behavior. When you are cosy-filious, you are some, you are abreast. It's, 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 it's something that belongs to her. It's for her. Okay. You know, the, the, the breast that belongs to her is a, it's called her breast. So when you oh, when, when you have breast, you are cosious. You know, being her breast. If it's your now, say being your breast. If it's other people say being their breast. Or, or we breast, or you know, some breast. You know, you, you, but the major thing you are looking for is, is a breast. I don't know why you have got it on her breast, my brother, but. Uh, it's not my breast. Sir. Oh, you know, it's, you're, you're talking about her own, but uh, it's okay. But that's the meaning. That's when she, she has her own um, uh, cosyphilious uh, uh, um, department. Thank you very much, yes. good prop, for yes. your breast. And uh, no, yes. my it's for her. Okay. Yes. Her breast. It's her own, yeah. Her breast, yeah. Yes. Um, so, sir, this, this question, this word came from someone in, in Benue. I, I hope you're listening to us right now. It's your word I'm about to call. Um, the young woman says she wants to know the meaning of, um, of HIV. Oh, <laughs> HIV. It's a simple uh, something. Okay, you know, like, normally it's what it says. They call it acquired immune deficiency. 
Sir. Acquired? That's not HIV. Okay, what is HIV? And that is what I want to know, sir. Oh, it's a brother of acquired immune deficiency. That's that, AIDS. Yes, HIV is one that introduces you to AIDS. Like now you will have AIDS like financial no, aid. No, sir. I'm not from big okay, financial aid. Yes, yes you need AIDS. Yes, you need AIDS in your life. You understand? AIDS is what introduces HIV, you know, to the people. So you have to start from AIDS. You understand? So you are acquire. Then HIV is the human immune deficiency. That's something that is in, in you. It, we don't, we don't see, in English, we don't say it is in you. We in say you. it's in you. Yeah. Yes, when the, when the what is inside of you is from him, is in you. You understand? So a human immune deficiency is something that you just you are you, you don't hear anybody again. You are deaf to it. You are people are saying things to you. You are not even listening. You cannot even hear. You are deficiency. You are deficiency. Your core value of reasoning faculty cannot be aligned to your sweetest time. You are deficiency. So the human face, facial position. Ew. That's what they call HIV, which was introduced by AID. Uh, are you, are you with, understand what I'm saying? Okay. Yes, let's, let's, let's go ahead. It's one of it, those things. Yes. Yeah. Then, um, uh, another young man. Hey, father. Yes. Um, I think I am the generator me. because we have the fuel is not a uh, you understand yes, there's no fuel you understand I understand sir <laughs> yes um, one other young man from 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 Boko Boko yes hmm. he wants to know the meaning of conjunctivitis <laughs> conjunctivitis <laughs> it's a constitutional problem eh? of course conjunct you see the conjunctivitis see when 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 you are trying to you, you are trying to take what is not yours. You are, you are vying for something that is not. You are trying to constitutionally conjure for it. Is it conjure? Then vitis. You know, you, you, are, you, are, you, are try, you are trying to position yourself in, in a vitality, a uh, uh, position like vitamin A, vitamin C, you are going to vitis. After uh, conjuring. After conjuring, yes. You are, you, are, you are getting me now. That's conjure. Tivitis. You want to conjure for those vitamins, but you have to use T to take it. So in the tivitis that is very important than the conjure. Are you are you are you with me? So Sam Yoruba said conjure, but it's not conjure, tivitis, it's conjure tivitis. You understand? It's, it's very constitutional. Hmm. Yeah. Is it the heat? I don't know, but it's a constitutional vitis, vitis you know, makes it makes it happen. Okay, sir. So. Yeah. Um, yes, this came from um, somebody in Ondo. He wants to know the name of Hula Balu. Uh, that's a small thing. Hula Balu is a big ball like this. Hula Balu. The Balu is it's like it's very, very round. So Hula Balu simply means when your vocal cavity is trying to say Hula La La and you're just saying Hula La La suddenly the Balu just pass and you want to tell your neighbor that that is Balu moving. You don't know how to communicate and break your constitution, your, your speech. You just say, ooh la la, ooh la, balloon, balloon, just, just flow. So, ooh la la la, balloon. Just. So, ooh la balloon is an expression of doing two things, uh, you know, at once to, to make sure you make two points at, at once. Ooh la, then, balloon. It's, it's, it's very expressive. Ooh la balloon. Yeah. Is that sure. Yeah. Ula. Balu. Yeah. I'm the one. It's prof. I do all these things. Yes, I know all these things. Yeah. This came from someone. Are you okay? Ula Balu. Okay. It's okay. This came from someone in a boy. Mm. He wants to know the meaning of gesticulate. <laughs> <laughs> Why must people be always coming late in this like this? You are you are trying to gist. You are not you are not late in your your in your, your gesture. You are just one gesting. You are trying to make a jest of something. To make a jest, make a joke of something. Then you are not saying it in a late way. You know? So when you try to say a, a, a gist in a late way, it's jest. Or make a jest in a late way, it's jesty. Cool late. 
know, it's, it's telling that even this gist self that I'm trying to make, or this jest I'm trying to make, is also going to be. I'm even confused, but you're confusing me. But what I'm just trying to say is, gesticulate is a jest in a late manner. You understand me? Are you getting me? In a late manner, you are just jesting. You are jesting, jesting. But you're always jesting it in a late time. It's jest. This is too late. It's also with jest is too late. But when people rush the word in their mouth, it comes out as gesticulate. It's not jesting, it's too late. You understand? The word about gesticulation? It, it belongs to the nation. Eh? Yes, it's a national thing. Something, when a, a, a jest that, that has to be about a nation, that you say, and you say late, it's, it's gesticulation. Mm. Or maybe belongs to your relations. Or, you know, understand? You talk about the nation or your relationship people, you know, in a very late manner. You understand? Are you crying too? Sometimes because I, I remember I, 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 I talk about one of my relations that has already, you know, in a late manner. I didn't know that is uh, is not nice. I said that uh, I, I, I thought, I'm sure that we've met ourselves before. You know, you know, I have a, a blessed memory. I didn't nice. know that. Nice is still alive. Oh. Yeah, yes. I just told him that we met ourselves in blessed memory. I, I was trying to tell him that we met ourselves before, but I used the word blessed memory. I didn't know it was a, a it was a later uh, manner. Okay. <coughs> Viewers, I hope you're still there. Yeah. there the there. next word is from Akurekit. He wants to know the meaning of ambiguous. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want our military people, our security people to employ. Make sure. See, you cannot fight crime in this community if your hand is not big. Eh? Yes! And big what your hand must be big so that you can put when you slap somebody. And big was is the big hand that can make you you make somebody when they slap a person, the person does not know what he's saying, will just confess that he's a thief. Hey. Yes! You slap a criminal, you, you, a criminal will just confess that a crime that he has not committed will confess it. Slap innocent person will tell you it's a wish. That is the hand. And big words. Oh my brother, don't, don't try it. We need those hands sometimes. If I in the military to help us, when you slap all those boko, they will just tell you many things that they've not even planned to tell you before. You understand? It's an ambiguous uh, 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 movement. You know, so it's one of those words. If I, I I'm training, I'm trying to go and find a way to get that hand. It's a big hand. A big boss. Are you with me? Jeez. Yeah. Yes. It's okay. No, 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 no. Don't cry. Don't oh, share tears. Don't share it. Nobody's willing. This other word is from local Jai. He wants to know me of ramification. Oh, <laughs> ramification. It's simple. Ramification is the is the the big is the, they always use it for a layer, yeah. a festival, yes. All those music festivals. They, they ram, they buy. You know they 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 use it a lot. You know on on, on occasion, you understand? Ramification is the ram you use for occasion. Any occasional ram is a ram for the occasion. So that's what they call it. Ram for the occasion. Are you with me? Ramification. Ram for the occasion. It's a big ram. They have big horns. If you see them, you love them. So those is. Say Ram. Yeah. Ram. Hmm? You want the Ram? Thank you. Well, I have just two more. One. Um, this is from here in Lagos. Okay. Um, Kemi wants to know the meaning of alter ego. It's a very simple uh, something. You no, know, we look at it from two perspectives. First of all, from the Yoruba Euro uh, perspective. Where we call it uh, ego, you know, and uh, and from the uh, Igbo perspective, what we call it ego is the same thing. It's all about the malaka, it's the money. So alter ego or alter ego, that's how you call it. Alter ego is the, is the money you bring to the altar. They use it in church. Yeah. Alter ego. Oh, seed faith, alter ego. Offering, alter ego. Love offering to alter ego. Building offering, alter. This is an alter ego. You bring it to the altar. You understand? Nowadays, I've told my, my, my men of God that you are raising, if you want to call for offering time in church, just say alter ego time. You see, people will stand up. They will come and drop because the ego is important. The ego is also important. 
You understand? So his ego in Urugu or ego in the in the in, the, in your area. You understand? So bring bring it to the altar. Altar ego. We need your altar ego, my brothers and sisters, to move the ministry forward. We need your altar ego. How can we preach the gospel without your altar ego? We need altar ego. It was free. That's one. Yeah, altar ego. Very very wonderful. Bring it to the altar. Make sure the altar is. This is the place you bring it to, no other place. Yes. This came from Lagos, somewhere in Via. Okay. You want to know the meaning of serendipity? Hey! It's a deep pit. Eh? Very deep. Yes. It's a very deep pit. Uh, be so, uh, you, you, when, when you are doing serene, you are trying to do buga buga, you are just doing serene and serene, and you now fall into a deep pit. That's what they call serendipity. Yes, uh, you just fall into that place. So it's your serene that led you to. So that's why it's not good to just be doing serene anyhow. Are you with me? Don't do it. Focus. Don't be pompous. Even if you're in the campus, excuse us. Don't look us. Don't brag be braggadocious. Because you might just use your serene and fall into a pit. And when you fall into a pit, it's serendipity and we'll be big to pity you at that point. Are you understand know me? It, it happened in 1442, there about. Mm -hmm. It's a very serious matter. Well, viewers. Mm. Viewers. It's okay, why are you crying? Serendipity. Yeah, you are pity for the person too. Thank you very much for, for staying there. Okay. My, my name is still called the Prof. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Prof trying to evaluate your, your serum. Produce a uh, make of young so you can be very, very articulated in your coffee's hips. Ho ho, are you there? That's it. So, we'll see you next time. Don't catch us, we will catch you. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Serendipity did this to you. I, I, serendipity. <laughs>